So, welcome back guys, into part two. Thanks for joining me. So, we're now going to try and put the camera back. Let's see how we do with that. These little screws are a bit of a nightmare. screwdriver is magnetic but it's not really mag magnetizing it. Uh -huh. Let's push it down like that. Try and put the screw in it. Very fiddly. It takes a bit of patience to be honest these things in here with that damaging the camera. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Two in. Let's try the one up the top here. Look at this. This screw stays on here. Look. Third one in. Let's see if we can get the last one in. There we go. So that's in. Maybe we should um, turn it on and make sure the gimbal sets up, I suppose. What do you reckon? to a phone, shall we? Hmm. Don't know what happened there. I think the camera went off. Um, so let's turn this on. Let's see if that's setting up. Right, 
much plug a phone in it. Hmm. Okay, so let's connect up a phone. Just logging in the phone here, enter device, enter main interface. Okay, and let's see what goes on here. Novice guide, sign in. Voila, learning complete. You can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'm switching the phone on if that makes any sense aircraft GPS for proper operation uh -huh. let's see not fly not fly what does not fly mean don't want it to fly just wait to see if the gimbal works. Okay. According to this, it's not connected. So let's start again, shall we? Let's turn this one off. Okay. Let's turn the drone off. USB disconnected. USB disconnected. Let's turn the drone on again. One, two. This one on. Let's turn it on again. Enter device. Enter main menu. Aircraft disconnected. Oh, we got no camera. Battery error. Oh, Please yes. replace. Yes, we have. There you go. As you can see, it, it's setting up. So let's set it up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, now this way. Turn it round this way. God, these things get hot, you know. The bottom of this drone is really hot. Calibration complete. Let's put it down like that. Let's see if the gimbal moves. Up and down. There you go. So... It's actually working. I don't know if you can see that, but it's done nothing to the gimbal. It's working up and down. That's fine. So off we go to the next stage now. Let's turn it off. On and off. Turn the phone off. So there you go. It doesn't make any hasn't done anything to the 
gimbal. It's all working. USB disconnected. USB disconnected. There we go. So that's all good. So, here we go now. So now we've got the drone. Now, one thing to remember with this modification now, in the UK you can fly this drone with no modifications, and I repeat, no modifications, because it's 249 grams. However, with this modification, this is no longer 249 grams. And we will weigh it later. But right now it's not 240 grams, 249 grams. So you cannot fly it without a UK drone license, which is like nine pound a year. And you take a little test online and you get your drone license. Um, and then you have to put your operator ID on it and your so what's the other one? I can't remember what the other one is. But there's two IDs you need to put it. I've put them on my battery because there's not really much room here to put them on. So I've put them on my battery. Um, so next we need a little bit of Velcro for this. Um, battery and light thing and actually when you buy it they give you these little squares in the packet look so that's the soft one on there so we need the hook ones yeah that's the soft velcro one which is no use to us because it's already on there from something else I tried And so these are the little hook ones, yeah? You can see the difference. One's got hooks on it and one's like a felt type thing. So we'll take one of those. Ooh, very sticky. And we'll cover up the battery. We'll have one more look at the battery so we know what we're doing. Let's turn it that way. Right. One more look at the little thing. And stick this on the battery on the back, like that. Give it a little press. Like that. And we're going to have it that way round. On there like that. Not really decided what to do with this. Don't really want to make connectors because they're going to be heavy. Um, so it's kind of going to be a permanent fixture, I think. I'm just going to solder those two wires onto there. Solder these two wires onto here, like this and this. And uh, it'll kind of be a permanent part of the drone, which is the next stage. So those are the lights in there, which look quite cool. Look, instead of a blank nothing, now we've got two lights in there. So, what should we do now? We could just um, strip those wires so that you guys can see it actually working now. So I'll do them long for now, just so you guys can see it working. Um, so let me strip these back. Like 
working very well, is it? Oh dear. What kind of rubber they put on here? Should use a knife, really, shouldn't I? A scalpel. What we got here? Got a little packet of blades we can use. open. Oh, you feed one out at a time, do you? Is that how it works? This is not supposed to be a knife. This is supposed to be a pack of blades. How's that working then? And you push that back, I suppose, do you? No. Why is that working? You pull it out. Oh, maybe they give you a little knife here. This is a spare pack of blades I bought for me hobby knife. They were like three quid or something for. 82 millimeter blades. Hmm. I knew how to get them out of the packet, it would help, wouldn't it? Looks like something comes off the end now. There's like a cap on the end of it. <sighs> Shall I not waste your time and Turn the camera off and come back, what should I do? Oh, managed to pull it out a bit. Hmm. Not really the safest way to do this, so don't do this at home. Oh, that's the trouble with this. Chinese wireless, it's got nothing on it, is it? It's not worth a light, is it, to do anything with it? Let's strip these wires a bit, huh? See if we can do that. This is only a temporary fix just for you guys to see it working before. Otherwise we'll be here all night. <coughs> right, so we can pull the cover off that one. Gives us a wire there. Shave a bit off the end here. That'd help if I used the blade side, wouldn't it? Do that like that. Mm -hmm. See, me doing this this way, there's a, guy, a lot of you guys out there are ten times smarter than me, and I'm sure you'll find another way and a better way of doing it. But this is just to show that it can be done with this little light 
and we'll wrap that round there. Give me a second, I'll get there in a minute. Something's got to give in a minute, isn't it? Seems like the wires are falling off. I suppose I could have edited this video and made myself look good, couldn't I? No point. I'm not into all that. I'm into just getting the job done. See the, see the wire go again, look. <laughs> There's just no wire in it. So you should have used better wire. But this is the wire that was on the LEDs, you know, when I bought them. Because they're such low amperage, there's not much actual wire inside them. Mind you, what do you expect for three pounds for five, I suppose? Let's see if I can do it this time. I'll be with you in a second, guys. Just let me get. Oh, there you go. I've got a bit of wire. Let's try not to snap it off this time, shall we? Just twist it together. Like there. That should be good enough. Turn the damn thing on. How do you turn it on? I did tell you guys at the beginning, didn't I? There you go. Right, so the top one's flashing, wired up, but we'll tidy that up. But, there you go. Two flashing lights at the front. So, it is possible. It does work. And, uh, can make a little cover for it or something I'm going to decide what to do about these connections here I might solder them straight on um, depending if I take this off is it still 249 grams with these lights in here who knows we'll find out in another video but there's a modification Uh, I'm guessing I'm the first one to do it, so it's a bit crude, and I know from the smart people who watch my channel that you'll do it a lot better, but hey, let's hope I'm the first one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.